students how are you hope all are doing well today i'll explain session 1 of the chapter basic ict skills this session covers computer system and the components of the computer system in addition to this i'll explain memory and its types so let us start so the question arises what is a computer system and what are its components as you all know that computers are made up of many parts like cpu monitor keyboard motherboard hard disk drive and many other parts so together they form computer system and each part of this computer system is called a component i'll give you some examples of the components like keyboard is a component mouse is a component and they are also called as devices there are four main devices namely keyboard mouse monitor and printer and cpu keyboard is used to type in the data in the computer whereas mouse is called a selection device it enables the pointer to move across the screen smoothly and it is essential for selecting dragging and clicking both keyboard and mouse are called input devices because they are used to input the data in the computer next one is monitor and printer monitor is commonly known as the screen of the computer and both monitor and printer are called output devices because they are used to get output from the computer monitor displays the output on the screen whereas printer prints it on paper next one is cpu full form of cpu is central processing unit and it is also called as the brain of the computer it performs basic arithmetic logical and input output operations of the computer system let us understand the term input and output devices so what is input any information or data sent to a computer is called input and the devices used to provide data in the computer are called input devices most commonly used input devices are keyboard and mouse but there is a basic difference in their way of working using keyboard you can provide data by typing whereas mouse can move and select i repeat mouse can move and select text icons files and folders and it works on point and click technology so most commonly used input devices are keyboard and mouse but there are some other input devices are also there like camera and scanner they are also input devices now let us come to the term output device so output means result and the devices which are used to get result from the computer are called output devices like monitor shows the output on the screen whereas printer prints the output on paper and remember this printed output on paper is called hard copy so most commonly used output devices are monitor and printer but there are some other output devices also like plotter and speaker computer's memory is capable of storing data temporarily it stores raw data as well as process data and output computer's memory is called as primary memory 
Now this primary memory has got two parts, RAM and ROM. So this RAM stands for Random Access Memory and it is the temporary memory. That means when we switch off the computer, the contents of the RAM will be deleted. Another type of the primary memory is called as ROM, R-O-M. It stands for read-only memory. That means computer can only read the contents of ROM. And as a user, we do not have any access to ROM. That means we cannot write anything in ROM. So as you all know that the size of the primary memory is small and it is temporary in nature. So before shutting down the computer, it is important to transfer the data from RAM to any other storage device which can store your data permanently. Now this storage is called a secondary storage. Now the size of the secondary storage is much larger and it can store data for long term. So there are uh, many examples of the secondary storage device where you can store the data for a longer period of time like hard disk, CD or DVD, pen drive and flash drive. They are all the examples of secondary storage device. So students, let us summarize. All tangible parts of the computer system, no matter how small or big, are called hardware. Input devices take input from external world. And output devices produce output or result for the external world. Primary memory is basically electronic memory. Now this point is very important that primary memory is an electronic memory and its subparts are RAM and ROM. And finally, secondary memory is for long term storage of information. So students, I hope you understood the concept. So for the time being, goodbye from me now and have a nice day.